what's up? It's Dr. Laura Miranda. And I started writing this out as a blog post, um, but I could not get the words out as, as I was feeling them. I couldn't get them out as well as I wanted to. So I thought I would deliver it this way in words, but um, over video. So here's the story. I have this realization about women and their brains um, yesterday, and it hit me like a shot between the eye with, with one of my very heavy clients who just lost 80 pounds. And why this is all coming to a intersection is because I had really two really powerful experiences in the last few weeks. One, I went to the Girls Gone Strong conference um, in Seattle. And if you don't know what it is, it's a website that really is the voice of reason in fitness and wellness for women. Just really solid information about training and mindset and um, and and just really positive, smart info. So check it out. Essentially, at this conference, all the speakers, there started to be the same theme that kept coming up. And something I knew, but like it was just really brought to my attention again. Um, and it was about women and how we take up space in the world and what our worth is. How we view our worth through the lens of what we look like. That it's always sort of distilled down to what we look like. And often, this is not chosen by us. This is given to us. It is in our language inherently, in our society, in our media. Little, little girls, for example. I noticed this with my niece versus my nephew. You're, look, you're so pretty. Look at you. You're, you're gorgeous. You don't say that to a boy. You're strong. Look at you, big boy. Arr! And it's not about gender politics, but it's just to get you to understand that these words that we choose, this stuff is just sort of laying on top of everything. And it has an effect on us as we grow up, as we grow older. And the mess, so the messaging, the, each woman, each presenter just started sort of bringing it to our attention that we are responsible to change that. But some of us are already infected with this, that our, our best foot forward is who, what we look like. That's what we have to offer the world. Um, and, and, and then secondly, I went to this, Another uh, event uh, called the Zara Therese uh, Linked Not Ranked event and brought together some of the most powerful female um, fitness uh, people in the industry in New York City, like a couple days later, a day later. And same thing, same theme, that we are worth more than what we look like. And that's all like great information. It just You under, have to understand how it affects people and then how to apply it. Because otherwise it's just words on a page, right? Or like, you know, someone speaking up front. Here's how it manifested again with, with one of my clients. Okay, she just lost 80 pounds. She lost 80 pounds for the second time in her life. This is not uncommon for most people, this yo-yo situation. Um, while she was very heavy, we were working. I was working with her and... I would ask her, what do you feel about your body? How do you feel? And she would say, I hate myself. I'm disgusting. Not, I, don't, I look disgust. I am disgusting. And, and she'd say, I would kill. I would kill to be that 80, that 80 pounds less, that the body that I had when I, was, when I got married when I trained my butt off the first time I lost the 80 pounds. I would kill to have that body. I said, how did you feel then? She's like, now I look at my wedding pictures and I'm like, I, I was gorgeous. I was amazing. I, would, that's, you know, I worked my butt off. She said, then she felt disgusting. So we're here for the second time in, with this weight off of her. And the difference here now is that the entire time we've been now working on what's going on in here. To find the value in who you are deep inside under your skin. Because the weight on the scale, so what? And I know what you're going to say, right? Like, you know, you're going to be healthier when you're skinnier and you should be want to like be your best fit self. And yes, that's true. Yes, yes. 
but unless you do it. Guys, I've been over and over and over in my career. This happens over and over. I see it, that people get to where they think they were. That thing that they said they wanted the most, those 20 pounds, those 40, those 80 pounds. And they're still not freaking happy. They hate themselves because what changed? The outside changed, not the inside. So I've said it a million times. I mean, I mean, I haven't said it a million times, but I, I feel like I've said it this much that my messaging to, to everyone, to, to people in the fitness industry, to moms, sisters, brothers, husbands, whatever, your words matter. And by the time you get to your 30s, 20s, 30s, that stuff is baked in there. That like understanding of who you are and how you are allowed to present yourself um, is baked in. And often it takes a lot of breaking down, breaking through those barriers. And, and it's worth it. But I just want to sort of leave you, leave you with that. If you are either on the trainer side or you are on the person side, the stuff, the end result, getting there, what there is, whatever that is, it's not going to matter and it's not going to stick unless the inside stuff is worked on as well. It's really, really pretty basic. I'm not going to go into the, the ways to do it, but I'm just going to sort of make you understand through my client's 80-pound weight loss the difference. And uh, I just want to thank, again, Girls Gone Strong and all those powerful women talking about these issues and and the, the women at, at uh, the Link Not Ranked event as well. So... Hope that helps in some way. Thanks for listening, guys.